Hello, Honors Algebra students. Mr. Lawrence here with your flipped lesson. This is the one you're supposed to watch before you come back from Christmas break. I want to watch it more than once. I know a lot of you have difficulty with age problems. We've got a little time here before the second semester starts. So instead of just jumping into the next chapter, I want to hit uh, some story problems with systems a little bit better. All right, now, the real problem with, with story problems is reading. Um, most of you can do the math, but you don't read very well. So we've got to at least read math very well. I mean, you pick up a, a book, a Twilight book or something like that, um, and you read that just fine. But when it's in the math text, you have difficulty. So we need to slow down. And what I did was I broke this uh, up into four steps. And some of you don't do any of these steps, and then you wonder why you can't do the problems. But the first step, and this is in all story problems, we're going to define the variables. We're actually going to write down let s equal whatever s is, and then let t equal, and we're going to define them very specifically. We're not just going to say, like, if it's an age problem, we're not going to say s equals Sam. s is going to be Sam's age. And you might even want to say Sam's age today. I want to be as specific as possible. And then maybe T is uh, Tom's age today. We want to be specific. <clears throat> when you keep uh, exactly what you're talking about in line, in your mind, then the problem becomes easier because all you have to do is be consistent. All right, number two is going to be find the ages in either the future or the past. Okay? Find the ages in the future or the past. So if we're talking about like 10 years from now, Sam is going to be S plus 10. And then Tom, of course, would be T plus 10. All right. Number three. Um, we're going to use the future or past ages to begin an equation. won't actually be an equation because we won't have an equal sign yet, but we're going to write them next to each other kind of like I did here. All right, and that's supposed to be a plus, of course. All right, and then fourthly, is we're going to read carefully because there's a couple of things that we need to do. Um, we want to make the future or past ages equal to each other. Okay? And uh, to do that, if we're multiplying or adding, we're going to do that the younger person. If we're going to divide or subtract, we'll do that to the older person. And I made a little mistake here. I wrote to do instead of do to. Sorry about that. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. And another thing I want you to pay attention to is uh, if multiplying or dividing a future or past age. Use a quantity. All right, so let's see how this works. Okay, so here I have a sample problem that says that Madison is twice as old as Luke. Well, I know right off the bat I'm going to 
need to define my variables right here. So I'm gonna let m equal Madison's age, and then l is going to equal Luke's age, and those are both today, right? Now look, if you're a kid who gets these problems right all the time without doing this step, that's okay, I don't have a problem with that. But there's so many of you that don't do the step and then don't get it right, that just doesn't make sense to me. If you know you're a kid that doesn't get it right, they have trouble with it, try imitating my way. Not just imitating what I do, but uh, imitating and thinking about why we're doing it. Okay, so we have the uh, variables defined. And so now we're going to try to make our first equation. Uh, Madison is twice as old as Luke. So Madison's age will equal twice Luke's age. There's my first equation. Well, 10 years ago. Well, 10 years ago, that's the future age of paths. This is step two. So I'm going to need uh, Madison 10 years ago. And I'm going to need Luke 10 years ago. All right. Now, I'm pretending this is a variable. Like, you know, this first one was really easy to write. We just had a double L, right? Well, I'm pretending this is like a new variable. Um, M minus 10 is an actual variable. It's a number. Okay, let's see. Madison was two less than three times his age. So I need to triple Luke's age. Not triple his age today, not 3L. 3L minus 10, because I want to triple the age three years, uh, 10 years ago. And she was two less than that, so I'll have to take away two. Um, because if I triple Luke's age, I'm two over what Madison is. So I've got to take two away from his age. Now, I like to simplify before I substitute. I like to distribute and simplify. So I'm going to have m minus 10. I'm going to go 3L minus 30 minus 2. 3L minus 32. Of m minus 10. I'll add 10 to both sides. I'll get m equals 3l minus 22. Now I'm ready to substitute and I'm going to take this 2l and put it in for m right there. And so I'm going to get, oh, another problem running into no sweat. I love it on my smart board. All right, so now I'll go 2l equals 3L minus 22, subtract 3L, and I'll get negative L equals negative 22. So therefore, Luke is 22 years old. Now, if Luke's 22, that means Madison is twice his age, so Madison is 44 years old. And there you go. All right, let's take a look at another problem here. In this case, Nick is two years more than five times Cheyenne's age. Hold on one second. I want to give myself some room there. Okay, so I'm going to define my variables, and I'm going to say let M equal Nick's age today, and then Cheyenne is going, uh, C is going to be Cheyenne's age today. All right, so Nick is two years more than five times Cheyenne's age. So to make them equal, I'm going to need five times Cheyenne's age, but I'm still going to be too short, so I have to add two. And there's my first equation. Now, in eight years, I need the future equation. So I'm going to need Nick's age in eight years, Cheyenne's age in eight years. He, so that's Nick, will be two more 
and three times her age. So I'm going to have to triple Cheyenne's age of the future. And I'm still going to be too short. And there we've got, I've got my second equation. So now I'm going to simplify this second equation as much as possible. And then I'll do my substitution. And I'm going to put 26 here. 3 times 8 is 24, plus the 2 is 26. All right, then I have to subtract 8 from both sides. And it is going to equal 3c uh, plus 18. And now I can take this 5c plus 2, substitute it in here for n. And I'll get 5c plus 2 equals 3c plus 18. And I'll subtract 3c from both sides. And I'll also subtract 2 from both sides. And I'm going to get 2c is going to equal 16. Divide by 2, divide by 2. And I must have a problem here because I have Cheyenne uh, at 8 years old. Cheyenne is 8 years old. So let me test this here. Hold on one second. Oh, no, I'm right. Nick is the older one. Cheyenne is the younger. Nick is two more than five times Cheyenne. In my mind, I was thinking Cheyenne was the younger one. All right, so now to figure out Nick's age, I can use this equation, putting an 8 in for C. So 5 times 8 is 40, plus 2 is 42. So Nick is 42 years old. All right, one more example here. Give myself a little room to work. And we've got Lizzie's age is three more than five times the age of Josh. I'd like to stop right there to find my variables. So I'm going to let L equal Lizzie's age today. And J is going to equal Josh's age today. All right, so Lizzie's age is three more than five times the age of Josh. So Lizzie's the older one. So Lizzie is five times Josh plus three more. Two years ago, so I need Lizzie's age in the past. I need Josh's age in the past. She was one year more than 10 times his age. And remember, I want to do 10 times the age of Josh two years ago, not 10 times his age today. Now, it's still not equal. She's one more than that. Okay, so one more time. I'm going to distribute and simplify. And I'm going to get 10j minus 20 plus 1 minus 19. Okay. I'm going to add 2 to each side. The L equals 10J uh, minus 17. And now I can substitute. I'll take this 5J plus 3 from the first equation, put it in for L, and I'll end up with 5J plus 3 equals 10J minus 17. And I'm going to subtract, yeah, I'm going to add 17 to both sides. And I'll also uh, subtract 5j from both sides. And I'm going to get 20 equals 5j, dividing by 5 will tell me that Josh is 4 years old. So Josh is four years old. Okay, Lizzie, I can use this equation here if I want, or I can use this equation here. I think they're both going to work. 
no problem. I'll use this one because the numbers look a little more friendly. Uh, looks like Lizzie is going to be... Well, hold on one second. Okay, so it looks like Lizzie is going to be uh, 5 times 4, which is 20 plus 3. So Lizzie is 23 years old. And it's that simple. That, that's just bothering me a second. Let me uh, check it. What was it uh, two years ago? Josh would have been 2, right? And Lizzie would have been 21. And if I multiply Josh's age by 10, I get 20. And it's still one short of Lizzie's age. So no, I'm okay. All right, there you go. That's your video. Three practice problems. Feel free to watch it more than once. Mr. Lawrence signing off. Good night, everybody.